so I made this painting and I want to share the vision that kind of came with and inspired me to make this uh, this painting so basically recently I was let's say I was pretty pretty lost and in, in the wilderness and whatnot uh, not physically spiritually just for clarification and Recently, I've been trying to get right with God, trying to, you know, go go full, full steam ahead and building my relationship with God. And and in that, I asked God, I was like, God, show show me, show me rapture. I want to see. I want to see. And. And basically, like, it wasn't even like I went to sleep and then had to drink. No, it was like as soon as I asked, like a couple seconds later, it was like, bang flashbang it was like a flashbang of just like a the, a vision that i i suddenly saw of of like this that like the road here that this started to to crack and then all of all of this like began to to fall away and i saw that the 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 sky was becoming this like extremely vibrant vibrant red and I saw the buildings in the background, and and, and then looking, I, I saw the houses, and I realized, oh, this is, this is this is my street. This is this is the street that I'm living at. Like that, that that that's my that's my home right there. And this is this is happening, right? And I was like. I was, I was so confused because it was just like it was all of that and then I saw like the buildings in the background fire and then I saw all these all these these beams of light coming down and I just knew that those were people getting getting raptured out and in in the sky let, let, let me try and like angle it uh I hope that captures it basically it was like I saw that that was that was Jesus and the the angel behind him that are beckoning everyone home it's like that 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 final trumpet to, to beckon everyone home and basically there's just all of this 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 chaos uh i feel like this is like towards towards like the end of the rapture as some things start to go awry and i was just wondering like what's what's up with like say the buildings why, why are these like these these high rises and whatnot that like like I, I I've seen those buildings multiple times. Like why why are they on fire? And I just had this this like feeling. And he told me that it was like it's people are going to get raptured out, like in whatever whatever you're doing. So if you're cooking on the stove or you're doing like a slow roast, you're gonna get raptured out, and then that thing's just gonna you know char burn cause a fire. Uh, or, or even like say you're part of like the maintenance crew and you're like working working on something and something's exposed uh, I know that there's probably a few of you out there that can think of a couple of things off the top of your head that are like that those get exposed and uh, was it Ca causes fires like it's it wasn't like meteors and whatnot falling from the sky it was just going to be just the general chaos of you know rapturing out a, a, a bunch of people just here and there and whatnot right and and like later on with I, I want to like look up near like my my area and uh i didn't know that there was like a minor fault line pretty or relatively like close like i'm like i'm not like right on it but like enough that i think if it really decided to go uh, it would, yeah, it would cause a, a bit of devastation and just, it was just surreal and insane. Like I had to, <laughs> I was so in disbelief of this being into my street. I literally, uh, ran outside and I was running up the, or I, I ran out into like the, the, the middle of the street into the section just to just to look in this direction just so that I could like take that take that in you know and like yeah the the, the final thing I just want to say, or 
add on top of that is while I was painting like after this vision I spent like uh like like the whole day and then some just painting on just painting this and for any of you fellow artists out there who've worked with acrylic you know that that stuff you know kind of that stuff if you like leave that unattended for like a couple hours that stuff starts to starts to harden or create like a rubbery case or something I don't know how to explain this I only wet the paint like once or twice just to hydrate it for the entire day and, and that was just out of pure uh like muscle memory I left for like a couple hours during that day because something came up and when I got back I was expecting you know the paint to be dry and I had to like reapply the paint did not dry the entire day and I know some of you would be thinking oh he just kept reapplying paint no I like used two globs of paint from from like from like tubes like these right Yeah, from like tubes like these so yeah just yeah just completely completely insane and completely completely a god thing and I've just been uh, I did forget <laughs> for a couple days and God's been been nagging at me both uh, spiritually and physically to get this sent to you guys so uh you know rapture's coming be prepared get right with god love y'all god bless stay safe